It's the 4th of September, I'm Jerusha Sukhthirath. Let's have a look at newspaper front pages from around the country now. And we'll kick it off with some bad news on the front page of the Cape Times. New Dalai Lama visa row. This is the third time that the Dalai Lama has been um, refused entry into the country because of visa stipulations. Of course, many people saying that this is political mongering, not allowing the D um, Dalai Lama into the country. But this time, it's a really sad story because he's going to miss a Nobel Prize laureate conference and obviously that's not ideal in fact people are threatening to pull out from the conference altogether if he's not allowed in the country on the front page of the Cape Argus 3.3 billion rand to protect state's authority and if we have a look again at the front page of Die Berger, the same thing the police need this 3.3 billion rand now it seems that uh, Ria Piecha believes that the South African police need these funds to keep operations going um, we'll keep you updated on this story and more. On the front page of the Citizen, Zuma must follow Pansy. Of course, this is referring to IEC chair, or rather former IEC chair, Pansy Tlakula, who stepped down from her position that was announced yesterday. Now, many groups are calling for Zuma to go the same way of Pansy, to step down over the Nkandla scandal and his refusal to report on Tuli Maroncello's report that the spending on his Nkandla homestead was irregular. Finally, on the front page of the Times, if we have a look at that picture, it says SA cops restore calm to Lesotho capital. Lesotho has been in unrest for the last couple of days as the Prime Minister, Tom Tabani, even fled to South Africa. Now, Prime Minister Tabani has returned to Lesotho and it seems that with the help of South African police services, calm has been restored to the capital, Maseru, as police officers and public officials retake their seats. Again, we'll be keeping you updated on these stories and more. Stay tuned to News24 Live.